So if you are just looking for that some solution, your kids work really hard, they really, really are dedicated, but somehow they're not able to retain what they learned or they forget. And you are struggling with acidity issue in your life or some relationship issues, or let's say you want in your career to have a global reach. How can you do that? Have you ever thought there might be a planetary influence I'm about to share? Hi everyone, this is Jaya Karam Chinani and welcome to In One Soul Passion Talk Show. Quite unique conversations we have started here before I share. Hit the subscribe button, give us a like and don't forget to press the bell notification so you get notified. Now, health, acidity has become very common. Take care of your health, take care of your diet. Do not solely blindly depend on planetary influences or remedies, but here is what I'll say. Acidity is a health concern, but from astrology perspective, if there is a negative influence or imbalance of Venus and Rahu, it indicates by acidity. In fact, our body needs alignment. And when it's out of alignment or sync, whether what you eat, what you wear, how you feel, your thought, everything is interrelated. So if you want to cure your acidity and also balance the Venus and Rahu imbalances, roast little cumin or just the raw, little, just mush it and chew it. Not just gobble it or swallow it with water. Try to chew it. Now make sure your health permits and you ask your medical doctors. Two things, taking care of your acidity as well as your planetary imbalances. Now many of you say that your kids work very hard and they are really diligent and dedicated, but somehow they forget what they learned or they don't recollect at the right time. Let me ask you, walk into your kid's room or their study table. Have they kept books all over? Have they collected old books, old newspapers or their pens? that are out of refills are still there, broken pencils, erasers, crayons are there. Well, if things are all over, their knowledge is going to be all over. They're not going to retain it and not recollect it. Clean the study table. Make sure it's clean and throw away the old things or give away in goodwill or donate the old books. Don't keep unused old stuff. And you will see your cup is clean, your mind is clean, your, your kids will retain information. Give it a try, it really works. Now, for relationship, either you're looking for stable relationship or you are in a relationship and there seems to be heated arguments or misunderstandings. What can you do? Thursdays and Fridays are very important for any relationships. Not that others are not, these are more. On these days, avoid dark colors, dark blue, black, dark brown. Now, many of you, please hear me out, will say you are a lawyer, you are a doctor, or your profession demands black, dark, blue, whatever it is. Let me repeat, I have never said not to wear these colors in your profession. We are talking personal relationships. At work, wear it. At home, in your personal life, avoid it. Even in jeans, you can go lighter blue. Instead, use lighter colors, light white, off-white, light yellow, light green, light pink. Now, even at work, which demands black or dark blue, you can get creative. Wear inner clothing of the light colors. You can, or a scarf or a handkerchief, keep in a pocket. There you go. All you have to do is get a bit creative. This really works. Give it a try. So we talked about the health, we talked about the kids, we talked about relationship, and now about your career, your job. Many of you are very well educated professionals watching this show every week. Logically, there is a craving inside you, or you don't know, you went, you did an MBA, you went to law school, but you don't know what exactly you want to do, or you have a settled career, but there is something inside you, keeps creeping, out and you feel like, what is that you need to do? If you need clarity in your career, if you want to connect with folks globally, if you want to connect to the heart, if you want to have that reach global following, in the north, keep 
the world map. Many of you ask, why do I have? That's the north behind me and I have the world map. It will give you that clarity. The more you go about it, it will take you to the purpose of your life or the career that you are meant to do. Give it a try. And there I shared with you all. Now let's talk about your fortune and good luck and money. Well, if you do not need any more money, good for you. But if you need to grow that money, finance and influence, to me money is not the number in your bank account or not the cash in your hand. To me money is that flexibility, that comfort in your life that gives you to do what you want to do. And you can label it with numbers or you can call it the energy. So if you want to have that energy of abundance, good luck, prosperity in your life, on a daily basis, say it any time, any day, any number of, but 28 times you can say instead 45 or 108, or just as your heart pleases for a few minutes. What are you going to say? Divine find count now. You're making your tea, you're drinking your tea, you are about your walk, you're driving. Make sure you're still focused on driving. All I'm trying to say any time of the day, just say it. Why it works and what it does is, it attracts money opportunities. It attracts money energy in your life from different, different avenues and gives you even inside you that feeling of you are abundant. And that is just amazing feeling. Give it a try. Now let's dive in, not forget that this is another important part is gratitude. Whatever you have, whatever you are aspiring to have, if you are grateful for you already have, life will bring you more opportunities to show your gratitude. And what do you need to say? Any time of the day, just make it a gratitude prayer. I'm grateful for being a money attraction magnet. Such a powerful affirmation. Affirm that any number of times. The more you feel it, the more you will see it. And the more you will see it, the more you will start feeling more. So you have to create this. I am grateful for being a money attraction magnet. Feel it. Don't doubt it. It is the faith that moves the mountain. Hard work is the key, but I call it smart work when you really use the signs to practical applications. Give us a like. Don't forget to share with your friends and family and let me know in the comments below what has been your favorite tip so far. I'll see you soon.